Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Vavil Siddharth here. So if you are really want to join my mock interview, uh, you can go and enroll in my website. Link in description. Good morning. My name is Soumya Tiwari and I am basically from Patna, Bihar. Currently, I am pursuing my uh, senior secondary education from Notre Dame Academy and I have opted for humanities stream. Throughout my school life, I have been a progressive student and have shown a fair interest in co-curricular activities. Talking about my interest, I like reading novels and my favorite author is Colleen Hoover. Inspired by her, I have recently began to write on a website called Article Alley. In my free time, I like to make scrunchies which I often sell online and I am very enthusiastic about when it comes to play badminton. I am deeply compassionate towards poor section of society and towards street animals. As a result, I made myself a core member of two NGOs, namely Fatima Ages Foundation and Bori Foundation. This compassion also links to business and that journalism, as I believe it helps a better society. So that's all. Thank you so much for giving this wonderful opportunity. I'm okay, okay, Shomya. So I'll give you as one situational best question. Okay. So if you are the uh, you assume that as if you are the student of Christ University, so and you know uh, the day of uh, Christ University is very happy. So how to manage the pressure as if you have them? Saying that being an Indian student, most of us are already into a habit of uh, hectic schedule. As in school life, we have done both like school life and uh, coaching together. However, I know that the school is different from uh, like university is different from uh, school. Hence, I am very adaptable in any kind of situation so i believe in myself that i will be able to adapt to this okay so good so uh how to motivate yourself in pressure um just focus on the positive notes and your capability just believe in yourself what you can achieve and try to make and calm yourself that's my mantra of motivation your favorite thing about the christ university First of all is ranking and review for my course. I st uh, stand among the top 5 college for media study and if I pursue this course from here, it will be bringing me an uh, excellent outcome. Also the faculty members are quite impressive, most of them are doctorate holders and it will be a great opportunity for me to get guided by them and have them as my mentor. What is income expenditure? Income expenditure, yes I do know this. Income expenditure uh -huh. is a level and, uh, when a person is able to spend spend the amount from his income on something. Mm, okay, okay. okay. No uh, so what is what what do you mean by revenue expenditure? Revenue expenditure. Uh, revenue expenditure is done by the government, and yeah. uh, uh, it's basically uh, happens uh, between the two countries. Like uh, for, uh, revenues, maybe. Uh, from the export and import, it is a, it is generated from export and import. Okay, so what do you mean by democracy? Democracy. Democracy yeah. is by the people, for the people and of the people. In this what happens, people elect their representative who they decide to govern the country. Uh, so can you tell me according to a developed country, uh, a country should be acquire a capitalist economy or a mixed economy or any types of socialist economy? I believe that mixed economy is better because we are giving an opportunity to each and every sector to grow and make benefit and that uh, I guess if uh, if uh, done uh, if in focus in a good sense or if government pays a lot of attention to this and if it is done in a fair manner then I think that it can be very lucrative for our economy. Our okay. Then the equality of, of opportunity will be given to everyone. I think the next one is that. So what do you mean by uh, right to speak? Right to speak. Yes. Our constitution with many other fundamental rights has given us the right to speak. In this, each and everyone, regardless of what, uh, what religion they belong to, what caste they come from, what region they come from, they can have their opinion and point about a certain matter. But in order to do, uh, in order that we, we do not get ahead of our rights we are expected to follow uh, certain guidelines so that uh, 
it doesn't affect anyone's emotion and have that kind of impact okay so tell me something about fundamental duties of india fundamental of india since our constitution has given us a several fundamental rights in uh, in return it expect us to re- uh, respect our country its national anthem and national flag as being a member of a uh, citizen of india it is our fundamental duty to maintain the uh, unity and peace in the country okay so how many times a uh, uh, national uh, emergency is happening in india it only happened once during the year 1975 to 77 when and the congress government did it the prime minister was indira gandhi at that okay once i assure yeah once now country there will be some uh, i think a uh, thrice time three time it happened yes, yes. uh, there recently that uh, sri lanka economic crisis happened what do you think the main reason for that there are only one reason think no, uh, two reasons are there first of all uh, sri lanka has taken a lot of uh, loans from the china and many other countries so now it's becoming difficult for the country to uh, repayment their loan and uh, as a result there's a worse a worse situation in the country and uh, economic crisis has skyrocketed uh, and the second reason is that uh, sri lankan economy was uh, depending on travel okay but due to covid-19 it also got affected so it's being uh, difficult for the country to overcome the current situation okay so uh, why did you choose journalism as your course what made you so interested in this i'm highly fascinated for journalism back since i was in standard 9 and i believe that i share all those personality traits which is required to pursue this course i like uh, keeping myself abreast of current affairs also i like to be connected and be a part of change whenever i see an issue all i know is that i want to go to the step we search about it or write about it my interest is not limited to just one or two fields so check it out to me Okay, so uh, can you tell me what are your future goals after doing the course? My future goal, as being a media student, I'll keep myself open to each and every opportunity. By the attain knowledge and proclaim skills from skills from Christ University, I will try my best to excel in the main stream journalism. And I okay, my, uh, okay, tell me. Okay, that's great. So, uh, so now we'll give you one micro presentation topic. So, Baba Bhai, you can give the topic. Yes. Okay, Shomya, so I'll give you one uh, simple topic. Okay. Uh, and your topic is what is the advantages and disadvantages of online study? Online study. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Uh, as we all know that entire globe has gone undergone a very uh, very uh, threatening epidemic no pandemic uh, known as covid-19 and it was a really tough time for all of us and we are still reco- recovering the the advent of online education came during this time when lockdown happened for the first time in the year 2020 Since Indian students were not into the habit of online education, it was a complete new experience for them. Talking about this advantage, I believe that online education helps us to uh, help us to know more about the technology and how we can use them in a very beneficial way. Also, it makes our uh, learning very easy in the tough time of COVID-19 because uh, at that time. Uh, If, if school continued, then uh, not all all of us would have been able to join the classes, and uh, definitely it would have been uh, it would have affected our studies. But uh, our government or maybe the entire group was not on it. Not, but got everything got done, uh, and we uh, got to learn many new things, and it was a good experience for us. Now. I believe that there are more adva- disadvantages, disadvantages rather than its advantage. Uh, as uh, talking about children's eye like condition, most of us was pets and uh, are far decreased. So it it kind of had an adverse effect on our health. Second disadvantage that not everyone was vigilant and uh, uh, prompt in their study, in the online studies, and so very far behind. So online most of the and 
with what happened um, the finals that when it happened all in that most of the students both on the boards to feel so that's what okay thank you okay thank you shomya thank you if you like my video so please like subscribe and share my video bye